You can paint on cakes using lots of different techniques and simple tools and ingredients like a paintbrush, sponge, palette knife, buttercream and gel food colours. If you use buttercream as your paint, start by tinting the colours you want to use. Two key points here. First, make sure the consistency isn't too stiff. The buttercream needs to be easy to stir, leaving soft peaks behind your spatula and a smooth trail without air bubbles. Second, remember that you don't need a lot of buttercream for painting, because even if you're going to be covering a large surface of the cake, you'll only be painting a thin layer, so just a spoonful of buttercream is probably enough. Not surprisingly, you can paint on cakes with a paintbrush. To paint an animal or a figure or any other shape, outline your shape onto a cake using a toothpick to draw around an image you've drawn or printed, and cut out. Create a palette of colours by putting some blobs of coloured buttercream on a plate and use a paintbrush to dip and then paint onto the cake. Use a small paintbrush to stay within the outline and layer colours to create some shading. Full disclosure, I've never painted anything before and I'll share my secret for learning how to paint in a few minutes. If you want to add texture to the painting, which will also clarify which parts of the buttercream are which parts of the elephant or whatever you're painting, Use your paintbrush or a toothpick to gently scratch lines. Buttercream is fun to paint with because you can add colour and texture to your cake. For sponge painting, dip a sponge into your buttercream and wipe the excess off on the side of the bowl to leave a very, very thin coating on the sponge. You'll need the frosting on the cake to set before you do this, and for all of the other techniques too, so put the cake in the fridge for an hour to firm up first. Dab the sponge onto the cake to paint it, and you can choose the texture or pattern you create by the angle you hold your sponge. I'm creating vertical lines all over this cake by holding my sponge the same way, but you could vary this to create a totally different pattern. Have fun with this, overlapping and layering colours and watching the design evolve. You can paint with a palette knife to create the effect of oil paints, and just like the other techniques, you really only need a spoonful of buttercream for this. Spread the buttercream onto the cake to create textured petals or leaves or whatever shapes you like. If the buttercream isn't spreading easily, add some milk to thin it out. You can layer colours to create details and to add more texture. Keep this simple with swishes of colour to create a fun, colourful design on a cake. And for more ideas of cakes you can decorate in 5 minutes, click the link in the top of the screen or in the video description. You can create entire scenes with a combination of tools. Here's an example of decorating a cake with all of the techniques I've shown you so far, and then we'll move on to gels. I used a palette knife for the grass and a sponge for the sky, and I'm using a paintbrush for the Eiffel Tower and some flowers. For the wheels of a bicycle, I'm using the edge of a piping tip dipped into black buttercream, and for the rest of the details of this Paris cityscape, just a palette knife and a paintbrush. It's helpful to have pictures to refer to as you paint, and I like to use Google Images to find simple line drawings as a starting point. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like it and subscribe to my channel for a new cake decorating tutorial every week. Painting with gel colours is easier than buttercream, I think, because you're only creating colour, not texture, so it's less to think about. Mix gel colours to thin them out using any clear alcohol, like vodka, or you can use a clear flavour extract like clear vanilla. You'll probably want to refer to a picture or a photo as you prepare your colours and while you paint. For this cake, I took my kids on a little hike and I took some photos to keep beside me as I painted, since I knew I wouldn't be able to make up an entire scene out of my head. You can start by outlining shapes in the frosting on the cake with a toothpick, or just make it up as you go along. Paint your basic shape first, so for me this is just the stem and branches of this plant, and then add details by layering on more colours to create shading and shadows. Now, like I mentioned before, I am not a painter. I studied to be a lawyer but found a passion for cakes instead, and I had no idea how to paint anything, but I've learnt lots of tips on Skillshare, which is an online learning community with classes on everything creative, including lots of skills you can use on cakes. I took a class called Watercolour in the Woods by Rosalie Hazlett, and it taught me how to mix watercolour paints and create shading and other details, and all I did was transfer these skills onto a cake. You can find classes on hundreds of skills and techniques on Skillshare, and it's designed specifically for learning so there are no ads. I'm such a big fan that I put a few of my own classes on Skillshare, and I'm excited that they're sponsoring this video. I've partnered with them so that the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership, so you can explore and get inspired. Okay, back to watercolour painting on cakes. 
After the first basic shape, or shapes, fill in the other details, like the ground and scenery, like these trees. To create the background, you can water down your colour with a bit more vodka if you want the attention to go to the image that you painted first, instead of the background. By painting one layer at a time, you can create an entire scene with just a few drops of gel colours and a paintbrush, turning a photo into a cake design. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Tell me in the comments if there's a cake technique or theme you'd like me to make a tutorial about. Thanks for watching. Thank you.